Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how you can do this. Now I'm not going to beat around the bush, primarily because I'm indoors and there are no bushes. Uh, but this is not cheap, and I don't normally feature not cheap things on this channel. The only time I ever feature not cheap things is when they do something ridiculous that nothing else does. And this thing does a whole load of things that are absolutely ludicrous. Uh, the first thing is, obviously it does the usual Google Home and Alexa, but it also does Apple HomeKit, which is something that barely anything does. But more importantly, and this is mental, it does if this then that. If this then that. My light switch is a trigger for if this then that. And I'm gonna let your brain do what your brain needs to do right now. What it needs to do is go, wait a minute, that means, oh my god, I can do everything. Like everything. I can press that light switch and make anything happen. So aside from pressing it and my boring ceiling lights come on, I can have it lower my projector screen, switch my projector on, load up a popcorn machine to do its thing, switch lamps on around the room, and get this, utterly ridiculous, I can make it text my missus to tell my missus to get her ass in the living room. I can make my light switch text my missus. I can make it boil a flipping kettle. If you've ever taken your light switch off the wall, you'll find either two or three cables sticking out and none of them will be a flipping neutral wire. Why am I saying flipping neutral wire all annoyed? I'm saying it because basically every smart dimmer out there requires one. And the reason is that they need an extra bit of power to stay alive when the switch is in the off position. Uh, in order to be able to dim by percentage using your Echo Dots or your Google Home, every smart light switch out there requires neutral, except this one. I don't know what else to tell you other than that's the best news ever in the world and that alone warrants this thing's price tag because a neutral wire is going to cost you a whole bunch of money. You'll have to get an electrician out to install it. I installed this switch in 10 minutes, no neutral wire, flipping brilliant. What else does it do? It comes in four different variants. If you have a four gang light switch currently in your house, you can replace it with their four gang light switch. Again, there is like no one out there that is manufacturing a one gang, two gang, three gang, and a four gang variant. You could cover your entire house regardless of what variant you currently have. These guys will actually come to your house and they'll tell you exactly what you need to achieve the things that you actually want to achieve, and they'll do it for free. Ludicrous. You guys have been asking me for years now, Paul, when is someone going to finally make some proper flush-fitting electrical sockets that are smart, so I don't have to plug some unsightly thing into my existing sockets? And the answer is, they're here, and they're unreasonably sexy. Uh, here's me unboxing their starter kit so you can check it all out. Lightwave or F. I got told in my comments section the other day by some jerk that my videos are corny and I put on too many stupid voices, so I'm gonna put on all the stupid voices. Screw you, dude. <laughs> you jerk. Uh, shiny. Oh, we all know how much I love shiny things. This is half shiny. This end is shiny, this end's not. So it suits everybody. All audiences accounted for. It works with Apple HomeKit. Mm, Ethernet cable. USB cable. Mm. That is a reasonably sized back box. You might need to chisel your wall. Oh, my favorite bit. Oh, shiny. That's actually reasonably matte finished. Yay, I built something. Biggest achievement of the day. This is a spacer plate, and what this does is it means that if you don't want to chisel your walls and this back box is too deep for your walls, it gives you a little bit more room. Uh, it actually isn't massively deep either, so this will look okay. I think this might end up being my official music room light. Well done, Lightwave RF. Well done. Not many people sell them together. Normally, you have to buy that separately. Hmm. Are we interested in reading these, do you think? No, I'm not! More stuff, more stuff. This is exciting too. Look at this. Ah, uh, oh, it's also very not shiny. <laughs> 
Oh, and they're also very good fun to press. The build quality is something else, I've got to tell you. You can't feel it. I wish you could feel this. This feels like a really, really solid piece of equipment. And look how well made everything is. Uh, this is not a cheap device, and you can see that it is not cheap. I'm going to have fun learning how to wire this in. I don't think it's difficult. I don't think it's difficult. Messing about with electricity is, like, super dangerous. Let's do it anyway. Uh, but first, a word about safety. Electricity gives you a nice tingly, uh, slightly hot sensation that then leads to no sensations at all because you're dead. Allow me to demonstrate. That said, of course, replacing your mains light switch is as easy as taking two screws out, making sure your multimeter works so that you're not going to die, switching the electric off so you're definitely not going to die, making sure your multimeter gives you a reading of zero now that the electricity is off so you're definitely not going to die, and then taking two cables out of your old switch and putting them into your new switch. And then you switch the electricity back on again, and then everything works. It's kind of as simple as that. This thing works in exactly the same way as every other smart product I've ever reviewed. Oh. Only better. Much, much better. It's really, really easy. Once the physical installation is done and you've plugged the hub into your router, you sign up for an account on your phone using the app and then it just automatically detects everything. It's as simple as that. I can then use my phone to control all the stuff in my house. Uh, in order to get She That Should Not Be Named or Google Home to work with it, you just install the skill or the service, sign in with your account, and it's done. It's all controllable. It's that easy. I've explained if this then that about a billion times. Let's do it again, just for fun. Uh, basically, if this then that is an internet-based service that allows two things to talk to each other that probably hate each other. Things that would never normally talk to each other. In this case, we're going to install the Lightwave RF service to my if this then that account, and the Broadlink service to my if this then that account, so that the devices within those two services can talk to one another. Simples. You'll need to sign up for an If This Then That account. It costs precisely zero pounds. Uh, so basically, I've already done that, and I'm gonna open If This Then That now. What we're gonna do is go to the bottom right-hand corner here, where there are applets. An applet is basically just the thing that makes the two things talk to each other. And we're gonna create an applet. So I'm gonna press the plus button at the top. And it says, if this happens, press that button, uh, Lightwave RF, Lighting, because it's my light switch that I want it to listen to. Uh, my light switch is turned on. And the first thing it says is, but who are you? I don't know who you are. Uh, so I'm going to say connect. And it asks for my Lightwave RF account details so that it can listen to my light switch. So I'm just going to sign in. Perfectly safe. If you're one of those people that worries about that sort of thing, just stop worrying. If this, then that is a massive thing. Everybody uses it. Trust me, it's trustworthy. Uh, so it's now saying, which light are you interested in? And it knows all of my lights that are associated with my Lightwave RF account because it has my login details. So I'm going to say the music room lights, because it's the only one I've got, create trigger. So we now have a this. Uh, if this happens, what is going to happen next? That. And that is, in my case, Broadlink. And this is where you get a choice of two. If you're in the EU, pick the EU one. If you're not in the EU, don't. Uh, so I'm going to pick the EU one because it's my EU account that I want to control. It then says, what do you want to do? Turn a device on or off is what I want to do. It now says, but I don't know who you are. So once again, we need to connect our Broadlink account to if this then that. Simply by signing into our Broadlink account. It's now loading a list of my devices. If I am able to control my TV using my Broadlink account normally, my TV will be in here. I'm going to use Christmas tree lights as my example because I don't actually have a TV set up in my testbed account, but you'll select your TV. Uh, I want to turn it on. Create action. You can then see that it says if the music room lights are switched on, then turn on the Christmas tree lights. It really is that simple. I've actually done it. Finish. If you'd selected TV, or you'd selected one of your plug sockets, or you'd selected any of the things in your Broadlink account, now when I press that switch, that's what it's going to do. It's mental. I, I honestly can't believe it really is that easy, but it is, and it works. That's not everything that this thing does, because it's mental. 
Uh, basically, if you can think of it, they've already thought of it and made it work. The little LED on the front, for example, you can change the colour. You can make it yellow, or red, or purple, or green. Uh, more ridiculously, you could do so using automation so that it automatically changes colour at a different time of the day. You can make it so the brightness of this LED goes up and down at a different time of the day, so that if you've installed it in a bedroom, it doesn't keep you awake. It is mental. The automation on this thing is just mind-blowing. Of course you can make the lights come on and go off at different times of the day, but they also sell like little sensors, like a window sensor for example, um, and radiator valves, so that if you open a window, your radiators will automatically go off because obviously you're too hot. They have thought of literally everything. Is this expensive? Well, it's not cheap. Um, but what I'm saying is, don't abandon all the cheap stuff. I'm not saying replace your entire system with this. I'm actually saying the opposite. This will work in conjunction with your Broadlink via If This Then That, for example. I personally will be installing it in my music room so that when I switch it off, it will switch off all of my plug sockets around the room. When I switch it on, it will do the opposite. You could install this in your living room and have just the light switch and the hub and use the light switch to turn on your projector and everything else in the room so it doesn't just switch your lights on. There is nothing else like this out there and that's why I'm featuring it. It is absolutely exquisite and you get what you pay for. America, I am sorry, these don't exist for you yet. Um, they need to. I sincerely think that you deserve them. Um, if you want one of these things, I strongly recommend emailing the guys at Lightwave and saying, Hey, what about us? Americans have electricity, goddammit. Um, and then hopefully, if enough people start saying that, and these things become popular enough, they'll start to ship overseas American-style variants of these switches. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, please give it a thumbs up if you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button, and as usual, these guys, they support me like to the hilt, they are the most beautiful people in the world. If you want to become one of them, then you can visit my Patreon, uh, if you want to just do a one-off payment, maybe I've been helpful to you at some point, there is my PayPal, uh, and as usual, again, there is all of these things, if you want to get to know me a little bit better, there is my social media, I'll see you next time. Today I'm going to show- no. <laughs> uh, basically I can switch my- I've forgotten why I'm doing this. I'm gonna start again. I'm drunk by the way. Just in case it's not 100% clear, I just went out to my in-laws and had loads of port and now I don't know what I'm doing. Every UK household in the whole of the UK, that's saying UK too many times. <laughs> Almost every smart light switch in the world is not- <laughs> With either your Echo Dots or a Google Home These guys do- and I- <laughs> This product- 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 What? <laughs>